Hello everyone, welcome back to the Ivy League Digital Network. Matt Panto here for another edition of Authentic Ivy. You know, going to college for your freshman year is a stressful enough time as it is. Add competing in the Olympics to that time span. That's exactly what Yale's Phoebe Stance did this past year. Phoebe was nice enough to give us a few minutes to recap that Olympic experience and her freshman year up in New Haven here on the Ivy League Digital Network. Phoebe, thanks so much for a few minutes during your spring break today. Thanks for having me. Phoebe, describe this past year for me. You're a freshman in college going across the pond from Switzerland to the United States, specifically New Haven, Connecticut in your first year at Yale. And you're also an Olympian competing in the 2014 Winter Olympics. Take me through this past year. Oh, <laughs> hectic, chaotic, <laughs> um, very stressful. But overall, lots of fun. Like, there's no point where I would have said, like, oh, this is too much. I think I'm going to, like, take a leave of absence and just just concentrate on hockey because I, I really love playing hockey at Yale. And I think that helped me, too, to stay there. And the people were really awesome. Like, I have friends who, who would, like, help me with the homework. Like, they just bring me pieces. They're so like, Phoebe, do this. Like, I did it all for you. Like, And I was really happy and really grateful for that. So, um I don't know. I wouldn't recommend to anyone, like, yeah, stick through, like, go to an Ivy League school and just stay in school and do the Olympics and train for that, too. But um, it, it was definitely an experience that I think I might be one of the only ones who could say, like, who could tell um, and who could, like, have had that experience. Phoebe, take me back to the start of the process and where did you get your start with Team Switzerland and obviously all culminating in a bronze medal at the Sochi Games? Um, I think the process kind of started way back in the under 18s because we don't have an under 22 team, so we go directly from under 18 to the to the senior team, and so I think it was more just of kind of realizing and grasping that goal um, when it when it presented itself, which was um, this past summer, um, where we all got together and they actually told us, yeah, it's, um, so tryouts start right now and it will go through till January and that's when we'll make final cuts and I just went to the camps did my best um went whenever I could because I was at Yale and they had camps like we had one in in Japan which I joined and the jet lag was <laughs> was pretty um bad but I managed and I came back and um yeah so it all worked out Phoebe to realize this dream I imagine you got to have a fantastic support system at Yale to allow you to take part in this experience is that the case yeah, it was huge. It was huge. Um, first, I was a little bit worried about whether I was allowed to go or not and whether I had to take a leave of absence because it was three weeks and that's that's kind of like the max you could go. Um, two weeks is even pushing it. So my dean was very helpful. My coach was very open and he um, also supported me throughout everything. Um, but most of it was definitely my dean who kind of like pushed everything, made me do this and that and write to, to the board and to everyone just telling them what my goals are and how I'm also going to represent Yale and not just myself or my nation. So Take me back to that bronze medal game, first ever medal for, in women's hockey for your country. Take me back to your emotions of that game start to finish. Um, that bronze medal game was huge. I mean, the first two periods – we have no idea what happened. Like, we, we kind of just like showed up, got out there, and we're like, oh, we're, too, we're back. We're behind 2 0. So, and then we came out for the third period, and there was a change. Like, people keep asking me, like, how did that happen? How did you guys change your game? Or how did you get your heads in the game for the third period and play that well? Nobody has an answer. We have no idea how we did that. It's, it's quite funny. But yeah. Um, and the medal just. It means so much to all of us because we kind of felt that our hockey, women's hockey in Switzerland and kind of all over the world comes second to men's hockey, um, especially in Switzerland. And now we show them because our men, they, they, um, they didn't qualify for the semifinals or the final game and they didn't make it quite far in the tournament. So all of Switzerland was focusing on us and we ended up winning a medal, which was huge. And we hadn't won a medal th since... I don't know, like 19, in the 1940s, something around there. And it was just huge, and everybody's so excited for us, and hopefully things will change around here too. So. And then you get back to Yale after the Olympics. Did you take a break? Did you take a rest? Or did you really just kind of keep going on the adrenaline and jump right back into the season? It was my coach was, um, he told me to take a rest. So I got back on Sunday. 
um, got back to school and classes on Monday and coach was like, don't, don't practice for Monday and Tuesday, try and get your rest because the jet lag was there. I mean, it was nine hours and um, I, I kind of felt it, but it wasn't as bad, but my body was very exhausted. Um, and I kind of, I needed sleep, need more sleep than ever. And then, but I kind of was always at the ring. So I went to the ring, um, like said hi to people again and they welcomed me back. And then Tuesday I was at the rink again, just doing kind of like light cardio. Um, and on Wednesday I got back into practice. Thursday we actually drove out, drove up to Harvard already, had a practice there. Friday we had pregame skate. And then, so I basically got right back in it, you could say. Um, but it was all right. I like, I love hockey and it, it actually doesn't matter like how tired I am. I'll find energy somehow. <laughs> Phoebe, throughout the chaos of this past year and maybe specifically these last couple months, I get the impression that you wouldn't change a thing. Is that the case? Yeah, I'd say so. Yeah, they prepared me well and uh, we have a very good team and Yale kind of plays similar to the Swiss team and I don't know, and it's just always fun playing with them. Everybody works so hard, and it's just a great atmosphere. And I don't know, just the people. It's 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 a lot about the teammates and the people and the coaches that surround you um, in a team. And that's definitely what I had um, during in Yale and um, in, on the Swiss team. Phoebe, congratulations on just a fantastic run at the Sochi Games. We couldn't have been more proud watching you throughout the games. Congratulations. Thanks for taking a few minutes today. We're looking forward to your next three years up in New Haven. Thank you so much. Thank you.